What's up guys, welcome back to Inside K-Swiss. Today, we launched the Jupiter 2.0 on the all new CR Tirati. Now here is the man himself, Lil Jupiter, to tell you more about it. Tell me a little bit about this shoe because the Tirati, this shoe base yeah. that you chose, is personally, it's my favorite shoe model that K-Swiss has done. Yeah. It's just far out as far as the design goes and They're what well you've done together. to this shoe is amazing and the way that you're styling yours is yeah it's fucking sick so i appreciate it tell me about appreciate the design process or a, a little bit about this shoe um i think the design process for me it was i'm on, i'm into the space type of theme so i definitely had to get the iridescent right here but i think for me is after i saw the sh after i saw the shoe i was able to put it together where i think the colors would fit better you know i i just i think i use my inspiration from any everything i see but i think i use what is already in my head to put put to put it on a shoe, so I don't think I just get inspired. I just get inspired by everything, and then whatever's in my head, and I just put it together. Because I've seen so many shoes from posting over the years that I'm able to just say, "Hey, this is gonna look better here. This is gonna look better here," and then just put it all together into one and make one shoe. I love the yeah. What you call this? What'd you say it was? Iridescent. It's See, like iridescent. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, it's like an iridescent, um, shiny thing. And then the thing about it is, it's 3M all over the place. Yep. This is a dark 3M that stands out from this lighter color. There's a 3M right here, 3M, 3M, and then we got two shoelaces just for different options to style the shoe. Yeah, yeah I'm really stoked about this. What's the ideal way you think this shoe should be styled? Um, I don't know, it's, 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 the thing about it is, it's a simple shoe, but it's like complex at the same time. So it's really for anybody. It's for a younger kid, for older person, middle age it's for anybody you know you just want to hang out you want to look fresh this shoe you could do whatever you want with this shoe to be honest you could style it yeah you could just chill you're still gonna look good in it so this week we also had bear walker on the podcast bear walker makes incredible custom skateboards and when he came into the office he also brought a one-of-a-kind custom skateboard that he is giving to gary that is entirely based off of the K-Swiss Gary V 004. One of a kind, yes. Gary Vaynerchuk K-Swiss board. I say K-Swiss because it's positivity and optimism that was designed after this sneaker right here. And Is this like a fucking trap? Like, are y'all gonna sue me now? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, people um, come out from the fucking walls. No, but it, this is uh, just really a piece of art that's really awesome. Thanks, and man. Uh, is that a fucking necessity, man? Like, uh, you know, I graduated college when the recession hit, you know, and so like with a graphic design degree of all things, you know, <laughs> uh, so there's nothing, you know, I like did odd jobs, which, you know, oddly enough, kind of built me up to this, but I was like a, a warehouse manager at a special events company. So I was like, they would want an enchanted forest theme. So I'd custom make some like rebar and foam oak trees and like carve them to look real, <laughs> you know? And then uh, I worked for a sign shop where I was like sandblasting signs. And that was kind of where like it clicked. Like I was just working on these all day and it was wearing my fingertips off. And it's like, this is like some extreme fucking friction. <laughs> it's like, that would work pretty cool for a skateboard, you know? And so that's when I made my first one back in 2012, just for me, you know, I thought it'd be fun. And people started asking where I got it from. I started slowly taking orders and, uh, it was pretty slow starting off and I worked like construction during the day and built boards at night just to try to see if it could be a thing, you know? And uh, yeah, like I said before, I was I was just trying to do that surf skate vibe thing and it was when I hit that uh, pop culture theme that like it started finally grabbing the attention of people to where I could make enough to pay myself. <laughs> Bear is a super talented guy. We were super thankful to have him on the podcast and go listen to that podcast to hear his full story because I promise you, it's really, really interesting. All right, guys, that's all we have for you today. And on behalf of everyone at K-Swiss, happy holidays. Uh -huh.